Fisher here, and uh, I'm with a very interesting gentleman. His name is Quentin Jay. He's just opened a new business in Millbrae. Uh, Quentin has come from the wine world, yep. working for many different wineries. Yep. Which ones were some of the ones? Uh, I was a general manager for Bonnie Dune Vineyards, um, Artessa, um, and also I worked at Etude for many years. Okay, great. Yeah. So you know from wine. Yeah, most definitely. So yeah. you wanted to have your own wine shop. Yeah, uh, you know, just you know, just been in, being in the business the last 15 years. You know, uh, you know, I, you know, my three kind of criteria are: I need to need to know the winery, the winemaker. Uh, second, I have to like the wines because if this doesn't work, uh, you know, I have to drink it all. Which is, <laughs> which is Plan B is not that bad. Can I, can I help? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have one of those kind of parties. Okay, good. And then third is that if a customer wants something, I'm more than happy to, um, you know, pick, you know, you know, buy, you know, buy the case, and if they want right. to buy a couple bottles, because right. I can't carry everything, but uh, right. I carry what we like. Well, this is a very different sort of wine shop, though, because uh, you will notice uh, in some of our other shots that we're in the middle also of a meat market, which might seem a, a little odd, yeah. and yet it's a perfect sort of pairing, isn't it? So tell us about how you came up with the idea to yeah. open this Bacchus wine shop here with the uh, meat market. Yeah. Well, it was a couple things. One is I'm actually a customer, so uh, okay. so, so that totally worked out well, and, and the papes are awesome people. And I kind of told them the idea that I had, which was kind of kind of keeping it so that you could see everything from the street, kind of this mid-level area is kind of on the mid-level, but then the wine wall kind of kind of expresses and shows the kind of the and, and coexists with the you know with the meat shop um, about the plaques and how the islands work, which is about how it's by protein. You know, I can't take credit for that. Uh, a really good friend of mine, um, uh, you, know, you know, of ours is uh, Nicole Byrne, and we were having some wine, uh, you know, with her and her husband, and we we're just kind of talking about the wine shop, and she goes, you know, you should pair some of the wine with the protein that they're selling, and I said, wow, that's perfect. brilliant. That's perfect. <laughs> that's a great idea. When you're walking down the different aisles, we've kind of thought about what might go with what protein, because ultimately you buy a protein at, you know, at Papes, then you kind of figure out kind of what, what right. can pair with it. We are here with Guy. How long have you uh, been working here? I've been with the Pape Meat Company since 1990, and mm -hmm. I've been in this business since I was 14. I'm 44 now, so I've been doing it pretty much on Most and off of your since life. for 30 years. The business was started by Ron Pape and his brother Bob in 1958. Bob passed away in the late uh, 80s, mm -hmm. and his son Michael and Larry Pape both okay. are running the business. Ron is still a, a very involved uh, patriarchal figure at Pape Meat Company. Ron was a uh, butcher uh, during the Korean War on the oh. Kearsarge. Wow. And after him and his brother got out of the Korean War, they started this business. And so, of course, there was many other small shops, grocery stores that like being started at that point in time. This is the last. The original meat counter has been expanded. Walk-in box, walk-in freezer, kitchen, 20 feet fish and poultry section. And now with the uh, Bacchus Wine Shop, we have a 600 square foot walk-in box, dry aging room, and it all kind of dovetails in symbiotic relationship. Quentin's kind of amazing uh, integration with our business in terms of having a protein base yes. with his product. So yes. as you can see from pieces that you've already filmed. It's yes. a direct relationship to the poultry, the lamb, the veal, the pork. It's been an, an incredible process working with him. He's a young man with a lot of talent, a lot of know-how, and his thumb on the pulse of not only the peninsula, the wine country, well, but also the what world. we're doing <laughs> the Meat Company. And, so, and Paid Meat. And capitalizing on, uh, on that arrangement. My first job was actually in the business was with Randall Graham over at Bonnie Dune Vineyards. I was a GM looking at the viticulture side of things, managing a viticulturist and the winemaking team, then direct sales and then also then wholesale sales. Before getting into the wine business, I actually worked for the Coca-Cola Company International Strategic Planning Group, We're kind of looking at brands, channels, packages. They hired about 20 plus MBAs every year from some of the top business schools. I went to Kellogg. For a, a gentleman who's running a wine shop, that's yeah. a pretty hefty background, yeah. to say the least. No, thank you. Yeah. I mean, you should know how to spend your money, yeah. get your money, money from yep. the banking, yep. 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 the exactly. branding from yep. Coca-Cola, yep. exactly. and all the networking and connections yep. you made in the wine business. Resist. Yep, exactly. This sounds like a fairly logical thing to yep. do. Yeah, and just kind of putting it all together. So Janelle Cameron's uh, the manager. Um, Janelle? Janelle. Well, let's bring her into the mix Perfect. here. Hello, Janelle. Hello. How are you doing? I'm how are you great. doing? Thank you very so, well. how long have you been working here? I've been let's step here up a little since bit. before the shop opened, helping get things set up. So, okay. about, you know, late October is when I started. Okay. Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, my background is actually in retail. Okay. Yes, retail, you know, and I just am a wine enthusiast. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. 
the, the problem would be, of course, if I worked here, I'd never get a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really great meeting both of you. This Thank seems you. like such a good idea. I right. mean, it's like all good ideas. Once it happens, everybody goes, oh, oh. what a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I was thinking about that. I was thinking uh, about, about that. that. So people can look forward in the future to yeah. some tastings and yeah. some tastings of wonderful food and protein and yeah. then this brilliant wine. Yeah. So by all means, do come down to Bacchus and, uh, and explore this beautiful new wine shop Perfect. with all the goodies behind us. Mm -hmm. Thanks so very much for your time. Great. Really appreciate Great. it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice to meet Thanks all so of you. Awesome. Victoria Hunter, back to Mowbray TV.